All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be on this knife. And if you're interested in traditional knives made in Sheffield, England, then this will be an interesting video for you. So that's what this knife is. It's a, an Ashley Harrison made knife from Sheffield, England. But you can see that the Tang has the A. Wright and Sons mark. And I was actually kind of confused by that when I first got it. Uh, but apparently Ashley Harrison and his father own the A. Wright and Sons brand now. So they make knives under the A. Wright and Sons brand. And also Ashley Harrison does some custom, you know, you know, smaller batch work. And I first saw him on Instagram and saw that he was making some lamb foot knives. And I've wanted to have a an English made lamb foot for a long time. I have the lamb foot that was made by Gradation Cutlery for Charlie Campania and really, really enjoy it. And I've always enjoyed the history of the lamb foot. Uh, it's something that's a little bit of a classic pattern for England. And so I wanted to get one made in England. And when I saw that Ashley Harrison was, was making them pretty much, you know, 100% handmade uh, in England, in Sheffield, and that, that he had a batch coming up, basically, I wanted to get one. So uh, I contacted him through Instagram and ordered one, and it didn't take too long, to be honest, and it wasn't really too expensive either. This knife, uh, I actually paid in, in Great British Pounds, I think it was like 75 or something like that, but it came out to about 115 US dollars. So not super expensive. I mean, certainly a lot less expensive than the Gradation Cutlery was. This one from Charlie at the Rendezvous was uh, about 175, I think, something like that. And so this was a good bit less. Now the materials are a little bit different. This has camel bone handles rather than bovine or cow bone handles. And the steel is 01, which is a, you know, a, a non-stainless carbon steel, but it's not the typical 1095 that you see on gradation cutlery and lots of other knives. So a little bit different materials. And even though I think it was kind of made in a way to be similar to the gradation cutlery, I mean, certainly the gradation cutlery is uh not not a unique design it's it's actually a replication of a very old vintage you know sheffield design but uh i think that with the white bone probably that that was part of what drew me to it was that it is similar in its styling to the gradation cutlery but that said when i got it i realized it's actually quite a bit bigger so i'll give you a comparison again to the gradation cutlery number 93 lamb foot you can see the Ashley Harrison is uh, bigger in most kind of dimensions. So uh, the blade is taller and has a little bit less of a taper actually to it. The handle is taller also, and both the blade and the handle are wider. So I'll give you a little bit better look at that. You can see the blade stock is significantly thicker on the Ashley Harrison than on the GEC, and the handles are thicker also. So it's definitely a heftier knife on the Ashley Harrison. Um, as for the construction, the construction is pretty good actually. When I first got this, it had a really strong pull and the action wasn't quite as snappy as it is now. I basically just you know opened and closed it and put a little bit of oil on it. But when I first got it, I was a little bit concerned it didn't have great action, but it, it has smoothed out a lot. Um, the construction itself, you can see no big gaps there, pretty nice on the handles maybe some slight gaps between the covers and the bolsters, but no big gaps on the backspring either. Again, maybe some slight gaps there. I'm not even really sure that those are gaps. I, I can't see any light through them. They might just be, you know, that the, the spring is slightly lower than the liners or something like that. But, you know, maybe some slight gaps there, but they are nicely flush, the, the spring and the, the liners. You, you can't really feel that it's high or low, and that's true both in the open and in the closed position there. And I also do like that the interface between the blade and the spring is, is pretty nicely done also. Not seamless, but pretty nicely done. Now, as for the blade, the blade is, I believe, a hollow grind. And like I said, it is 01 steel. It seems to be well ground. I, I honestly, I haven't used this knife. I got it to be kind of a collection piece. 
and um, never really got around to using it. But it seems like it's ground pretty well. I like the swedging, the drawn swedge on both sides of the blade there towards the tip. And the edge, you know, it came sharp in the whole way and sharp seaming and everything. But again, I haven't used it a whole lot. Now the pull, like I was saying, is strong. So it does not have a half stop, which is a difference between it and the gradation cutlery. No half stop, but it does have a pretty strong pull. I would call it like an eight. It's definitely nowhere near what you might see on like a gradation cutlery whaler or even a 23. I'd say it's around a 23. Maybe the older 23s where, where the newer 23s weren't quite a strong pull but it, it does have a definitely a strong pull and snaps closed. Now, the tip is not proud, certainly isn't proud, and because it's a, a lamb foot blade, you can't catch your finger on it, but it does sit a little higher than I would have expected. You know, it, it could sit a little lower, but then you do get into, on this knife, um, the, the tip sits quite a bit lower on the GEC lamb foot, but as you can see, I decided to cut out a little pseudo easy open notch there. And boy, did that get the people on the, the guardians of the lamb foot on uh, blade forums uh, thread fired up. That was unacceptable that I put that pseudo easy open on that. Um, I haven't had a good experiences in that thread uh, aside from that also. But Maybe that's one of the reasons why, you know, this tip sits a little higher is so that it's easier to access that nail nick. Now, um, someone had suggested, suggested, well, you could just drop the kick. I, I, you probably can, but there's not a whole lot of space to drop it. And because this wasn't really a user, I haven't attempted to, but it does definitely snap close uh, pretty well with that strong pull. Um, as for the look of it, I do like the look a lot. I, I like these plain, you know, white camel bone covers. I think that it looks really good. It also looks good with the flush uh, pins versus GEC does have uh, some spun pins on the handles there. Uh, so I like the really classic look of the flush pins with that really nice looking plain white camel bone handle. I also like the threaded bolster and the pinched bolster. Uh, those look nice, give it a little bit of a fancier feel to it. And the blade is very burly looking, I would say, but good looking also, like I said, with that swedge and with the, the well-cut nail nick. So even though this one isn't a user for me, I, I do think that it's a, a really cool knife. I'm glad to have had a uh, English made lamb foot in my collection. And I think it's, you know, a pretty good value if you value, if you put value on a knife being handmade in England, you know, by someone who is making them 100% himself in an old historic shop. If you put value on that history, then I think it's a good value. Um, at $115, you get a pretty good value, I think. So I've enjoyed, you know, having this in my collection. I am considering getting uh, another knife from Ashley Harrison. I'm not sure if his books are open right now, uh, but I wanted to real quick just give you some size comparisons. You already saw the GEC Lambfoot, the 93, but here is a case trapper, and here is a another custom, a Jeffrey Mitchell, uh, kind of of my own design, but a fancy bull, uh, fancy sod buster. And then here is a gradation cutlery number 15. You can see the Ashley Harrison is a good bit bigger, and. So it, it is not a small knife. It's a, definitely a knife that you could put to, to work, put to use, and, uh, and use it with confidence. So um, yeah, if you're looking for a custom knife made in England with, with that history behind it, then Ashley Harrison or A. Wright & Sons might be a good place to look. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it the thumbs up. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. You can also subscribe and click the bell so you know when I post new videos. And make sure you check out my social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts. Also my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles on knives like this and knife-related topics. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do 